Hey all, Hiba here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sea of Conquest and this video here which I will show you how to do a full blazing build. So you know, focusing only on blazing damage. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and of course comment. Uh, I love to read your comments. So uh, if you're going to max out a particular damage type, I suggest that you start by crafting a ship from scratch. So in this case here I'm crafting the Stormbringer. And uh, this ship has blazing and drowning damage. And uh, you can see the four uh, skills I have been assigned randomly when I crafted the ship. And the ship quality is epic. Of course, legendary is best, but the chance is really like it's 10% getting a legendary. And uh, sure, if you get it, that's awesome. It's even better. But epic, uh, don't go any lower than epic, right? And to do this, of course, you need the blueprints for Stormbringer. Uh, you can do that by grinding through, uh, you know, um, missed incidents in the game or you can just buy it like I did. So uh, now we have a crafted ship that already comes with blazing damage uh, skills, right? So uh, we just gotta have a look, a closer look at the skills now to make sure we get the most bang for our buck in the ship here. And uh, the reason I tell you to craft a ship is because you cannot uh, change the skills on, you know, the standard ships. You have to craft them. So what we're going to do now is called honing the skills on the freshly crafted ship, right? And you're going to need coral to do that. I have a whole video on that. So look at that up if you want the details. So the, but what we're going to do now is just to pick uh, which skills we don't want on the ship. Uh, because like I said, it comes with, you know, pre-baked skills that's randomly assigned. So uh, four skills, the ultimate skill in the end, you cannot change. So the first skill, Revenge Fervor, is okay. We'll just leave that there. Enhanced Drowning is okay. Enhanced armor piercing, we don't want that. We want something with uh, blazing damage, right? Now we could change the second skill as well, but it's okay, we'll leave that. And then hopefully we can get some uh, some blazing damage here by honing the skill here. So uh, we did it once and the next skill is gunpowder. I was like, okay, well, we don't want that. That's not what we want. So uh, you can either quit or replace. In this case here, I press replace, but you could just quit. Uh, but if you quit, of course, you're going to, you know, get the same skill again next time you try. So uh, we're going to go replace and uh, just hope that we get a better skill the next time around. So uh, we're going to click the home button again because we don't want attack by seven. And the next one increases ships damage of all types by 14 to non-player ships. That's fine. I don't do PvP much. So this is a good skill, right? It, it uh, applies to blazing damage as well. So we're going to press the replace button. And uh, that's about all we can do to the ship, at least for now, because uh, we can only hone one skill, right? You can see how the other two are locked. Now, of course, you don't have to use a crafted ship, but you can use the Crimson Sentinel here. But uh, then you're just going to be stuck with the skills it has from the beginning, which is actually, I mean, they're okay for blazing builds. So you can go with that as well. Uh, but if you want more flexibility, I would say go for a crafted ship. Now, something I forgot to say in the beginning of this video here is that, of course, you don't have to go blazing damage. You can go any damage, really. Uh, or you can also go, you know, full uh, defensive or, you know, disrupting or anything like that. But this example here is just blazing damage. But if you don't want that, you can just pick any other damage or really any other, uh, you know, skill and uh, just focus on that. This is just an example. And again, I just want to underline that you don't have to craft a ship to do this. Uh, like I said, it makes more sense because if you craft a ship, you can also, you know, be lucky enough to get a legendary ship, which, you know, is even better. And uh, you can't do that with the standard assigned ships. But anyway, again, I just want to make sure that you know that it's not a prerequisite. You don't have to craft a ship. So uh, anyway, let's move on. So uh, we've sorted our blazing ship, we've sorted our blazing skills on the ship. Now we've got to make sure we have the right items. So of course you want a burning crown cannon on your ship as a bare minimum. This is a legendary one at the highest level, so of course that's perfect. Like the more you have of that type, uh, the extra bonus you will get. So uh, I would go looking for more burning crown equipment uh, if you want to have a full uh, blazing damage build on your ship and of course that's what we want here but as a minimum you should have a, a blazing damage uh, cannon right S like a sail and a steering wheel and a figure of course would be better but uh, you can get away with just having that one 
Okay, so next up we're gonna look at uh, heroes. So we're gonna need a captain that has a blazing skill and a uh, Lester seems to be the perfect uh, pick here. He's also a legendary captain. So you wanna of course pick legendaries if you can, right? So let's have a look at his trinket. His trinket also increases blazing damage. So you get like, you get stack upon stack upon stack. Like yeah, that's pretty much what you gotta do to you know max out your blazing damage build. All his skills are also blazing damage. Then we need a gunner who also does blazing damage. And in this case here, Ned is the pick. He's not legendary, he's epic, but that's okay. We'll settle with that. So uh, he also doesn't have a uh, trinket that does specifically um, blazing damage, but you know, in the future you might get one and you can just change it out then. And if you get a even better commander than uh, Ned, you can just change the whole commander as well. But for now, uh, this is the best one we have that's not in use on other ships. So we're gonna go with this. So uh, last thing we need is to find a first mate. And you can see the Drifting Wanderer legendary trinket we have here works really well with the first mate. So we're gonna have to go looking for a first mate that's you know pretty high level and uh, someone who also does blazing damage. And we just happen to have the uh, little guy here called Will. He's a first mate, he does blazing damage. And uh, you see, I already gave him the, uh, the legendary trinket to increase his blazing damage even more. So uh, that's, you know, it, another stack here of blazing damage. Uh, and that, that's what you want to do. You want to do as much blazing damage as possible. And uh, we can even give it another level here. We just have a little bit of extra resources, so why not? So uh, after doing this, you will have uh, Will as a first mate doing as much blazing damage as you can with the resources and the equipment that I have on my account. Of course, your account could be different. So uh, the last step is to pop these uh, identified commanders onto the Storm Stormbringer ship that I already showed you. Uh, we already prepared the ship and the skills and the items on the ship. So uh, now we gotta add the uh, heroes. So we start with Lester, the captain, like uh, I showed you before. He's a blazing damage captain and he has good trinkets. He will be good for our build. And uh, then we're going to add the next hero as well. We're gonna pick, uh, you know, Will here as the first mate and uh, he does a lot of blazing damage. So he's a really good pick. I wish he was legendary, but he's not, but maybe later I'll get one. And uh, then we just gotta fill out the uh, you know, the last hero slot here with a net, like I showed you before, also a blazing commander, right? So uh, once you've done that, you have a Stormbringer that's, you know, as much of a blazing build that I can do right now with the equipment and the heroes and the items that I have. But of course you can max it even more so uh, I hope this answered some questions. If not, just put them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you out there.